I have been trying to film this Buff Bunny video for like over a month now. I placed a really massive Buff Bunny haul. Two separate boxes. One came in pristine and perfect. The other one was just MIA. Fast forward like three weeks later, I'm concerned. I go to the PO box and I'm like, where's my shiz? They don't know where it is. They said it's somewhere, but they just don't know where. So flash forward to today, about a half hour ago, we get a phone call from our postal service saying they found the dang box. We go in and this is what I'm looking at here. I literally couldn't believe it when I saw Bay walking out with this box. I said, are you kidding me? What actually happened here? Guys, I didn't even open this yet. This is literally how it came in. It looks mangled, half open. Did somebody take stuff out? I don't know. My best guess is somebody sat on this. Okay, this looks like an ass print, butt bunny. So guys, finally at it, coming at you with a butt bunny new release haul. Are these still technically new releases now that it's been like three weeks later? Let's hope so. So welcome back to the channel. Definitely do not forget to subscribe for new active wear reviews every single week. We talk a ton of fitness fashion here on this channel. And of course, we're always open for suggestions. So drop a comment with a brand you would like to see next. We make that list and we got a nice one for the year 2022. Okay, so box one, which has been patiently waiting. Oh my God. Box two, I've been waiting for you. Babe, can you grab me some scissors? <laughs> the seasonal color, shall we? We got the Alpha Sports Bra and the Jewel Jogger, both in that vineyard red color. Such a beautiful burgundy. You guys suggested in my new brave video, Ash, you just, you must try that Alpha Sports Bra. And I'm so glad that I did. Just like Alpha Elite Sports Bras, I know Buff Bunny and Alpha Elite are pretty much one in the same. I need to size down an Alpha Elite's tops. And the same thing with Buff Bunny. Like right now, this is okay. I got a little bit of let up right here where it counts. But overall, this is a pretty sexy looking sports bra. You got that decently deep cut right here in the front. You also have real thick straps. So this is very comfortable to wear. The one thing I do have to say is you have like that kind of that nip seam going on here. I notice a lot of brands coming out with this look. Can't say that I'm a huge fan of it, <laughs> but with this particular bra, it's not too noticeable. So it's all right. I did not expect to like the jewel joggers as much as I do. I'm really picky when it comes to joggers, but these are like a mixture between leggings and joggers. They're so stretchy. Kind of reminding me of the Pippa joggers from Gymshark, but I do think they're very much different. These are a little bit thicker front seam, but it's okay. It's not touching up in anything. We're good here. Makes the glutes look pretty good. I would say, yeah, only a moderate compression, but it's doing it. The V seam on the back is extra, extra high. So it's got an insane amount of glute space. So if you have heavy glutes, lucky you girl, you could definitely fill these out really nicely. I do think if you're in between sizes, you could totally size down in these. And if you really want a skin tight look, you could size down. This is adjustable right here. And you might avoid a little bit of this gathering here if you did size down, but for me, Perfect. Here we go. The new loop yarn that they just came out with. Uh, so when I first saw this collection, I was like, oh my God, this, this, I need this for winter time. Like I love comfy cozies. I live for them. I was expecting a super plush, easy to rip kind of material. This is my first time actually putting this on. And let me tell you, it is so much thicker than I anticipated. Like I really thought this was going to come in feeling like a little light feather. This is dense. This has some dense and structure to it. Very good first impression off the bat. So I got their comfy cozy loop yarn joggers with their little cropped cami in their white color. They also have a really cute crop sweater. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, now we got this complete outfit going on here. All right, let's start with the sweater. You have a really nice drop fit here on the sleeve. It's real nice and loose. You also have an open neck style too with an elastic neckline here. You got a little baby cinch right here on the bottom. Gives a little 
tapered look. I actually sized down in these tops because Buff Bunny recommended it when I was picking these selections. So they said, size down to an extra small and I did that and I'm glad I did. Joggers have a nice elastic band right here. Wasn't expecting that, but love it. So it's not slipping down or sliding, anything like that. So whereas you could totally size down in the tops like I did to an extra small, I would keep your true size for the joggers. I mean, I don't really want anything too tight anyway. I wanna be able to move in them. They're a little bit long, but they got the tapered angle. So you should be just fine to wear them like this. Cami's really nice. I feel like these are making such a big statement nowadays. I know Skims has a lot of things like that. This actually feels a lot more durable than Skims. I've tried theirs and this is actually beating it out. <laughs> no adjustments whatsoever, but yeah, super happy with my extra small tops and my small bottoms. I would keep these small. Really glad that I got this brown color because I know that white's gonna get fudged up from my tan. Here's what we got going on here. I actually got the shorts in this and I love the fact that you can cinch it up on the side here. How? Oh my God. Also got the matching hoodie. This one's full length, all right guys? So if you didn't like the crop sweater, they also got the full length sweater. Straight up comfy, cozy. I don't think, I don't think it gets more comfortable than this. The material on the inside lining is the same as the outside. I like the crop sweater if I'm gonna be filming or taking pictures or I wanna wear it with like high-waisted jeans and look really cute for Christmas, but this hoodie is coming with me to watch Netflix and cuddle up on my couch. So we got the spin sports bra in the color Dirty Dancing. And we got the Material Girl ribbed biker short in nude. So I paired these two together because this is a dream. You got like that taupe gray color and a really pretty nude up top, which actually this one's the nude one, but no, I would say this is. Okay, so the sports bra looks like it's inside out. <laughs> That's the first thing I thought, but they make the girls look really hefty. It's a very straightforward sports bra, but yeah, it looks like it's inside out because you can see the curved seam right here. It's meant to be like that. It's kind of cool. It looks very loungy to me. Not something I would totally work out in, to be honest with you. Even though the support is really nice. This is actually really good in my size small. I wouldn't size down in this one. You have a very straightforward backing, no adjustments whatsoever but I don't feel like I really need it. You actually have the matching seams on the back as well. These biker shorts, when I first saw them, they reminded me of girls' boxer briefs for some reason, and I have no clue why. I can see I'm getting a little bit of a camel toe, and I do see a little bit of let up right here, so I think you could size down, but I wouldn't necessarily want to because I wouldn't want it to cinch here. Right now, this is very comfortable for me around my legs. Anything more, it's hitting the danger zone for me, and I'm just like, no, don't get any tighter than that. It's actually pretty dang squat proof too. So if you're somebody who wants more of a seamed biker short, maybe check this one out because this is totally gym friendly. Okay, how about an all black fit? I sometimes get in the mood to spice things up a little bit. Especially with that old spice on your yeah. sports bra. Uh-oh. That's dove, bitch. <laughs> So we're looking at the Legacy Biker Shorts in black and the Revolution Sports Bra. Did I really get deodorant on here? This is supposed to be, you can use it on 100 plus colors. It literally, I bought it because it said it could be on 100 plus colors, okay. I gotta say, man, Buff Bunny's really good, especially with their sports bras. I'm noticing like, I'm never uncomfortable in any of their sports bras. Size small, working perfectly for me. Nice moderate support. Girls are looking a little freshy. Nice strappy back, do you see that? They went all out with that backing right here, okay? They went all out on that. But yeah, man, I really like staple black pieces, so I figured these bike shorts could be used for anything. I really loved the Legacy. If you remember my Nubre video, the Legacy leggings were some of my favorite. So I figured biker shorts, you can't go wrong either. Super squat proof too. Like for a staple black, if you're looking for squat proof black, Legacy all the way, heck yeah. I knew when I saw this jacket on their website, I knew it had to be mine and I knew it had to go with this all black outfit. This is their spice jacket. You can, I can see you. This is a breathable mesh jacket that's literally so silky soft and it's very stretchy. Let's see the fit. Nice. <laughs> okay, so I was really hoping for more of that shapely fit, but not skin tight. Because again, I wanna warm up in this. I wanna get action going up in this jacket and I'm gonna be sweating. So sometimes I don't want everything just 
sucked up to me like saran wrap. I need a little bit of breathability here. You got some pockets going on. Thumb holes? No thumb holes. Pockets are 100% mesh. You can see my nails through it. You're leaving the gym and you're sweating. This is nice because at least you could breathe through it on your car ride home and not just be dripping sweat. All right guys, so we're gonna be trying on a jogger set. This is the Untamed Jogger V2 with the Untamed Hoodie V2, both in the color Death Before Decaf because I would literally rather die before drinking decaf. Got these both in a size small. I'ma tell you, first impression right off the bat, these are not stretchy, like at all. Like look at this. Ugh. They're really thick. The lining I'm feeling is a really nice soft plush, whereas the outside feels like your basic cotton. It's not, see, you can't really stretch through it. So I wouldn't size down, even though it looks baggy and you're probably like, well, can I size down? You could, but it might not be too comfortable to get on. A Little bit stiff, a little stiff. I think this is the kind of jogger set that is just made to keep warm. Like if you are specifically going outside or just trying to cozy up and stay toasty, Yes, this will keep you nice and cozy. The lining inside, everything about this is just meant to keep you insulated. But in terms of being able to stretch out, not really. Do love the hoodie, really nice comfortable hoodie, no heavy hood syndrome. This is what it looks like up, okay? I got a lot of extra room here, as you can see. It ain't gonna fall down though. This is their Odyssey wrap skirt. <sighs> I actually paired it with the Alpha Sports bra again, but this time white, because why not? But this Odyssey wrap skirt, it's in the color tan lines. This is gonna come with me on vacation, if I ever went on vacation. What drew me to this skirt was none other than the wrap. You basically have two pieces of material like this, and you just wrap it, stays put, and you tie it really nice, so it gives more of a casual, loose, boho style kind of look to it. I think it's beautiful, it's nice and high-waisted, very stretchy, you do have a little elastic band right here, so it cinches right in. This is the type of material where it's pretty thin, extremely stretchy, and it just grazes over your bumps and humps, so it's really emphasizing my glutes in this, and thank you for that. You have a crazy slit right here, very sexy, but wear something underneath, because you just, you pose the wrong way, you're getting a full frontal. But yeah, I just, I can't even with this skirt. Even the length is perfect, I'm 5'3". But this did it, like it's right at my ankles, as perfect as can be. I think this is a skirt that was just made for me and my body, straight up. This isn't a size small, I would not size up, I would not size down, I'm obsessed with it just how it is. Okay, so this dress, man, it, uh, it broke my heart, to be honest with you. When I saw this, I knew it had to be mine for New Year's Eve for all the fun New Year's Eve plans that I have planned, never. I always get like that around this season where I'll buy a dress for the occasion that never happens. So this is that dress for 2021. But unfortunately, I can't really do much with it because it's way too big on me, all right? This is my size small. I absolutely needed to size down to an extra small because I got some big wing action going on right here. This is extremely loose what's going on here you do have a pretty velvet look like this is their frozen dress okay in the gold they had a silver and a blue colors i went with the gold because i like the warm tones it's extremely stretchy and comfortable i gotta say for the look of this dress you would think it's uncomfortable but it's it's just a stretchy beauty it does have two adjustable straps but it's not gonna fix this problem here so you do have an extra layer right around here. I can feel it, you got the little band, like a built-in bra going on underneath. You actually have removable bra pads as well. So there's a good, decent amount of coverage and support going around your girls. It's barely touching me though, because it's so loose, but I definitely feel it. Okay, so we got the Rosa Sports Bra V2 with their Rebel legging in their shimmer sand. I really wanted to grab this particular color because I actually really like the shimmery set. This is not something I anticipated wearing to a gym, but I thought this would look really cute as staple leggings underneath a fall or winter inspired outfit. I do believe I reviewed this set in the Mad Scientist video, but I'm just gonna reiterate real quick. We do have a really pretty crisscross backing, non-adjustable. I would definitely size down in here because I'm feeling a little extra room right around this region. Nice thick straps, removable bra pads, and a really decent amount of coverage right around the rib cage here. The leggings are great too. You got the high waist, 
really nice looking on the glutes here, making my glutes look real shiny. Not totally cellulite friendly. I do think this is more or less just show leggings. I mean, you could work out in them if you want. Me personally, not my, not my style to work out in. It almost has a gentle plasticky feel. They are very comfortable, but they do not feel like they're breathable at all. Like this is the type of material that will keep you sweating and kind of have that sweat staying. This is why I wouldn't use them as a gym set. Another issue is right around here. I'm seeing the dreaded CT big time. So it's safe to say these leggings are more or less just wear with a plaid jacket. Okay, so I actually grabbed some of their new marble pieces, their jogger sets. I got it in white and black. For right now, I'm rocking with the white one. These are reminding me of the untamed jogger set that you saw before. However, these are definitely more breathable, a little more lightweight, I should say, and definitely have some stretch, thank goodness. These are both in a size small, definitely oversized fit. You could get away with sizing down, I believe. I like having a little bit of a baggier fit. Just like the Untamed set, you do have a really soft plush lining on the inside, very cozy, and then more of a cotton based on the outside. If you're looking for a fun jogger set, you're into the patterns and you want something with a little more stretch, a little more comfortable, then check this one out. The marble design is dope. All right guys, so I'm closing out the show. All right, I saved the best for last. I think you already know. They're game changer bag. And I do think this is gonna be a game changer for me. You got the vegan leather, the really pretty gold accents. You got the Buff Bunny logo and you got the really pretty gold buckles up here. So it's really aesthetically beautiful. If you don't already know the game changer in general, they have a backpack which I have and love. They have the signature meal prep compartment right in here. So you could keep some meal prep in here nice and chilled. So whether you're going to work, out for the day, going to a class, you're a college student, this is perfect for that. You got a ton, a ton of room going on in here. It actually expands out of it. And there's even a built-in divider here. So it's perfect if you need to travel with a laptop or anything like that and keep it separate. Zippered pocket for your tampons, just in case this tips over and you... <laughs> <laughs> and you in public and you don't want your tampons to roll out in the middle of the aisle. I know girl, I've been there, I know. So that's where the tampons go. On the front here you have a little slit. It is a perfect spot for your phone. Thank you babe. You just slip it right on in here like that, like so, okay? Your whole phone fits right in. You know why? Because when you on the go and you have to snap something, for Instagram stories, you can't be bothered with zipping and unzipping things. You have to be able to grab and go like this. <gasps> oh my God. Thank goodness I had this slit here. <sighs> All right guys, so that concludes today's Buff Bunny haul. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is about the time where I like to wrap up everything and tell you my final thoughts. This is like the fourth Buff Bunny video on my channel that I've done and I gotta say, as time goes on, I'm gaining more and more respect for this brand. And I really love how involved Heidi is. I might've said this already in another one of my videos. Heidi's on top of it. She's literally in her own campaigns. The one thing I have to give Buff Bunny major credit for, which there's a lot to give them credit for, but the one thing that stands out to me is every single time I try them, they are always consistently high quality. Like they do not skimp when it comes to quality. Like just before with their loop yarn, I was expecting one thing just from the visual and I got something better than I anticipated. So to wrap up some of my key favorites from this haul, Absolutely 100% that loop yarn. That blew my mind when I put it on. I did not expect that kind of quality. The Odyssey wrap skirt, okay? Can't forget that one. That was hot tamales, and yes, I fully approve of that one. That is sexy. If I had to say number three, I would go with those jewel joggers, baby. Those legging joggers. And of course, to top it off, I would have to say that spice jacket had me feeling like a spice girl, I'm not gonna lie. That's my ideal throw over jacket and go to the gym. Like, I don't think it gets better than that for me and I want one in a lot more colors, thank you. All right guys, so that concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed it very much. If you do have any questions, cause I know this was a very breezy, faster type of haul since there were so many pieces, but if you do have any questions about any of these products, feel free to drop a comment down below and I will definitely answer your question. Do not forget to subscribe for videos just like this every single week. And again, drop a comment with a brand you would like to see next. Love you all so much. Thank you for watching and I will catch you 
in my next video. They also have a cropped sweater and that just hit my lip gloss. This real lightweight, slinky, wait, does that make sense? I can wear deodorant. I'm sweating with all these Ooh. lights on. Jingle all that way. Legacy bike short. On the front, you have a little open slit right here. It is, what? I love the hood too. Okay, that's, let me move my extensions. Actually, hold on, I really need some deodorant. That's gonna bug me. We got the dirty, no wait. <laughs> What is this one? This one is... <laughs> it's been sports bra and... I forgot. 